As we inch closer to the naming of Alice in Dairyland, we continue to profile a group of young women competing for that job. And today we'd like to introduce you to Amber Cafferty. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. So Amber, why Alice in Dairyland? Well, that is a question that I have been thinking about since I was young. Okay. I grew up with Alice as a role model. I was somebody who was really involved in agriculture from a young age. And I needed that person to look up to, especially a female role model who showed that the different possibilities that could be involved in agriculture today. So that was one of the reasons, but I'm also really passionate about telling the stories of our dairy farmers, our farmers in general, mm -hmm. our processors, and really just being able to share the story of agriculture to those who are not only involved in it, but outside of it as well. What is your story in agriculture? So I grew up on my family's dairy farm and poultry farm in western Wisconsin near Fountain City. So we are right on the Mississippi River with oh, nice. lots of bluffs. It's beautiful in the fall. And I grew up very involved in 4-H and FFA, had a lot of opportunities through those organizations where I then went to the University of Minnesota for college. And I had a great time being able to be involved in different organizations like the Gopher Dairy Club. The sorority there I was in was Beta F. Clovia, which was actually based off the 4-H traditions and ideals. Oh, sure. And I then went back to the family farm after I graduated for just a little bit before I then well, now here I am today at Professional Dairy Producers and running for Alice. Very nice. So at PDPW, what do your jobs include? So I am the Marketing and De Development Coordinator. Okay. So I do a lot of digital marketing. But one thing that I'm also very excited to be a part of and have been for a little while now is actually hosting our Dairy Signal, which is a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday program that is live and available to watch after the fact for all those who are interested in dairy, who are in dairy and wanting to know more about what's really mm -hmm. trending right now and what can really impact their farm. So that is something that I'd love to be a part of on our team. What about uh, as Alice, if you should be selected, traveling the state and getting to see maybe some of the agriculture that wasn't prominent in the region you grew up? So some of the things that I'm really excited about are cranberries. Mm -hmm. That is our state fruit. It is something that I think not only do I really enjoy in my trail mix and also on Thanksgiving, but I think it's a really unique commodity that mm -hmm. here in Wisconsin we can be very proud of, as well as ginseng. That's another one that not a lot of people know about or are really aware of. But we are a very big producer of ginseng, and that actually is a major export to our Asian market. So we have a lot to be proud of here in the state of Wisconsin, and I'm excited to learn more about them. So we've been interviewing all of you, but we haven't talked a lot about the process to becoming Alice. Is there like a competition where you all throw small bales and like <laughs> see who can do the most in one day? <laughs> not, not quite. Um, we like to think of it as kind of a five-month job interview. Okay. It started actually back in January with wow. our application. And then we went through some interview processes. And while we are here, we are doing weekly assignments, essentially, okay. that kind of are a dress rehearsal for the real deal of being Alice. And then that all leads up to May 19th and the, through the 21st, where all six of us candidates get back together. We'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. We'll be doing tours. We'll be doing um, TV interviews. We'll be doing radio and so much more, where Alice is announced then on the 21st in Monona Terrace. And Alice through the year gets to be at fairs. She gets to be at tree tapping for Maple Star producers and getting to experience that, I hope for whoever gets selected, is really a once in a lifetime opportunity. It most definitely is. I know myself and all the others are very honored to just be in the position of a top candidate and to be running for this really prestigious role in Wisconsin and something that we're all very proud of. So regardless if it's myself or one of the other top candidates, we're going to be very happy for one another and proud of whoever is going to be representing Wisconsin agriculture in the well, next year. Proud to meet all of you as well. We will continue to profile and if you've missed somebody, they're on our website. Thanks for joining us on Midwest Farm Weekly.